How's everybody doing? I hope hope you're all well. Uh, this is gonna be a boot review on the Mammoth Trovat High GTX, which is this boot that I've had for three years, and the new one replacement for those that I just got is the High uh, Guide High Guide GTX two. Um, Kind of nice looking boot. So we'll go over the old boots first here. I've had these boots three years. Um, and I waited, you know, all this time to do this review because I wanted to really see how they held up. I, overall, I am super impressed with these boots. They are really, really uh, well made, rugged. Um, you know, I'm, I'm Mason, uh, my boots are in the toughest working conditions you could have, uh, probably, you know, as far as being rough on, uh, on footwear or whatever, you know, the masonry is by far, uh, one of the, if not the roughest conditions on, on, uh, footwear. It's 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 worse on them than hiking. It's worse on them than than anything. Um, you're constantly wetting them, drying them. Mortars constantly dripping on them, dropping on them. Sharp bricks. You're on a roof. You know, the asphalt shingles rubbing on them. Uh, slate hooks. You know, sharp stone. Um, and these have really held up well. So the all the <clears throat> the only things that's kind of happened to these. Um, you can kind of see some of the stitching has started to come apart on in the in, at the toe area there. The soles, all, all the soles have held up really well. There's a little little wear on there. You can kind of see it's 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 getting worn down, but it, but the sole itself is still adhered to the rest of the boot. Um, the stitching in the back has come apart. Right in there. I got it upside down for you. Right there. Not a, you know, I mean, it happens, you know. Um, but the overall condition, the leather is in great shape. Um, the one thing I do not like, and they still have it on this new boot too, is, on, which one was it here? On, it was on this, it's on this boot. No, is it? Yeah, this boot here. You see this little eyelet is made this is busted off and it's super thin sorry it's not really focusing there super thin this is what it's supposed to look like a complete D uh, ring there I'm trying to hold the camera and that's what it's supposed to look like so it's a little tender there it snapped off and there's, I don't, there's no fixing it. I mean, it was enough. It snapped off, you know, two years ago. Um, and, you know, I was still able to hook the lace around it. It didn't do it on the other one. You know, I just probably got jammed up against the rocks or something. and Or something fell on it and and it broke. Um, the back of this boot has held, it did not come apart the seam. Um, you know, the stitching in the front did. You can see that it's worn right through the toe cap, the rubber rand protector in the front. Uh, on that one, not on this one. And it's pro probably, the, you know, this is my right foot. Um, and it's probably just the way I work. You know, a lot of times you're on your knees on concrete. You know, you're laying pavers or, or setting, you know, patio stones or rock walls or whatever. You spend a lot of time on your knees and, you know, the one foot is behind you more than the other. And that's probably what that's due to. So, uh, on the new ones, and the only reason I did not get those and opted for these is just, number one, to try, just to try a different one. And number two, this has the rubber rand that goes all the way around the boot. Um, sole is exactly the same. It's the same sole. Uh, everything else is the same. Uh, the, the, one of the things they say on this boot is that it's got an elasticized t 
tongue. Uh, we'll see. We'll, we'll, three years from now, I'll do a review on that. So, so I didn't, you know, I don't, I didn't wear these. Obviously, I don't wear them really in the winter. So it's really probably, you know, if I own them three, three years, uh, you know, it's probably a year and a half of solid use. Uh, you know, six months of the year. Uh, as far as comfort goes, they're very, they're a stiff boot. They're, they're definitely a stiff boot. They're not super flexible. I mean, they, they do become somewhat more flexible over the years, um, just through wear. Uh, but they're, a, they're a, not really a, they're a, a flexible boot for the most part. Um, they're very stiff, and the footbed is uh, very hard. Um, it's not a big, there's not a big, uh, uh, cushiony layer in there. Um, if you're into like walking on pillows or something, you're going to want to put a different insole in or something, but, uh, but, uh, they're, they're, they're very well made, very everything. They, they, interestingly enough, and I, you probably can't, I don't know if you can read on here. that will zoom for us but there made in Romania that's the old one new one made in Romania and these boots over here these are Zolos these are what I used to run for years and years and years uh, I've had many pair of them probably half a dozen pair and what happened every, every pair of them the sole came off the sole bond, the bond to the sole to the leather came off. I bought these, and I've probably these are probably seven years old or something, six seven years old, and I don't even wear them to work because they just because of that. I just you know if I need a nice somewhat pair of a dressier boot or something, um, I, that's what I use them for. But these are also made in Romania. It says it on here somewhere. So I wonder if they're all made in, in the same factory right there. So all made in Romania. So I wonder if they're all made in the same factory or not. Uh, and just branded different or if Romania is the hot spot for hiking boots. Um, the one thing I will say uh, on sizing, and, ju and just so you know for uh, solos anyways, I mean, I, th I believe these are ten and a halfs. Uh, USA ten and a half, so those fit really nice. That's what that's what my foot is usually a ten and a half. These uh, mammoths, that one and these and this pair, both of these, I had to get elevens. Um, I I had to uh, I bought ten and a halfs the first time, and I had to send them back and get an eleven. They're slightly undersized. Um, by about a half a size, so so if you're a ten and a half, buy an eleven, and it'll fit perfect. Um, but yeah, that's it. Very well made, very high quality. I, I I you know I I couldn't ask for more out of a boot. Um, they get shredded, you know. I mean, you know, like I said, you know, it's a wicked tough environment that they're on, that they're in, and they've held up wonderfully. Uh, so buy yourself some mammoths. Be good. We'll see ya.